Lali is a 16-year-old basic education certificate examination BC candidate at Pong in the Lower Manya community. She told the news team until the power cut, she stayed on campus with her colleagues to study. With the 2022 BC in less than two months, Holali narrates how the power cut is impacting her preparations for the upcoming exams. I need to do this every day to make sure that I get good grades. And I hope that the light will be out in it soon because we can continue this. And moreover, I need to be in the darkness because there is no light. And I use this candle always. And if it's off, I go. Maybe I want to learn three topics, but if they cannot go off and I'm learning one topic, it's off. So I need to just go and sleep like that. I know it is not only affecting me personally because I know a lot of people are also suffering. I also have my mates inside the room, like others are also suffering. But I don't know what is really going on with them. Maybe they also have their problems. Maybe others don't even get what I'm even using now. So they just sleep and when they come in the morning, they are just complaining in class. Like they are not learning. And for that reason, we are all back home again. We used to close at 9 o'clock when there was light. So now that there is no light, we close like 5 o'clock. And it's like, what are we going to learn? We have maybe 68 days more to our BC. 68 days? Yes. That is very close. Really close. Do you fear going to fail your paper if this continues for, for the next few days? Yeah, I, I really do sometimes because... I know this is not helping. I know this method I'm using is not helping. This shouldn't be the appropriate method a BC student is going to use to pass their exams. Holali is not alone. Other activities here are equally affected. At night, Pong in Luamanya Enclave is dark due to the power cut. The usual traded scene running after cars at night is no more. The situation is having an unbearable toll on individuals, businesses and all institutions. Residents in the area want power restored immediately. This is unfair. I hear the CEO of uh, ECG saying that uh, power is uh, it's not a right, but a privilege. But I, I beg to differ. This is a problem that is facing the citizens of Ghana. And as citizens of Ghana, I see it as a right. If somebody else is enjoying power, we also own the right to enjoy it. You are not, you are not willing to pay the bills? That is a wrong uh, perception that people have about this area. I pay bill. And I know a lot of people that pay bill. This problem was generated by ECG, where they started overbilling the people. Yes. And when you overbill people for a long time and they, and they, and they realize that this is an overbilling, they come to you and fight back. But you, you are not a technical person. How do you get to know that you're overbilling? You? Come on, I, I know how to read bills. I'm not a technical person. I've been to school to some extent, so I can read and write. So when I know that the reading per this is charged by this amount, and I multiply it by the number of days I've spent electricity, it should amount to a certain amount, right? Yes, but here lies the case, when they bring the bill and you calculate, it doesn't add up. For instance, I was telling you that I own a, a, a provision shop and then a, a, a building material shop. My building material shop, for instance, a bill came for a month and it's our 4,000 cities. I don't use anything in that, that building. I only use like a, a, a light bulb, two light bulbs and a television. They don't take motor back to their various home because they know that if they take motor, maybe they'll go and fall down or they'll go and rob them or something like that. So some of us, because of our business too, we are telling the leaders that they should do one so that they will give us the light. Anyone here, we are not talking uh, it's ECG uh, uh, worker, but the whole issue is that uh, the, the, bill, the bill is an overbill, and we are saying that they, make, they should reduce the overbill for us, but they refuse to re reduce the overbill, and then later they, they came and they told us that they will bring a prepaid. We are not doubting about the prepaid. We accept the prepaid, but as now, I'm aware that I have a, a two shop. I take the prepaid all right, but still, my work is, is not going on. So unless I go, I go do part time before I go get my daily bill. Spending five Ghana CDs. Five, five, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred phone, five CDs, wow. and yam, five CDs. How come? For so long. Because if you don't want to pay the bills. No. We are paying it. They pay. They pay. They pay. They pay. They pay. They pay. They can't give you the prepaid at the town. They give out to all of us. How come? They took me this phone for five CDs yesterday when I went to charge it. And it's very difficult for us here. No, Paying for the the bills, is it not more cheaper than you spending five cities to charge a phone? I think so. And so many people used to go and buy 
uh, now they used to buy generators. Some some even buy four for hundred cities every day. And I think it's very costly because if the people were to pay the light bill, I think that one would be better than them buying four every day using it for generators.